on an oval canvas. It is an 11 by 14. Um, and I like to get my shaped canvas from Hobby Lobby. They have oval, round, triangle, and hexagon, which I love also. So I'm going to be doing a swipe today. I've got a bunch of different sizes here. Um, as you can imagine, I <coughs> have a lot of swipe tools. So just going to set those there, move that out of the way. Um, but before I get started, I, I'm going to show you my colors. And I will be working with the uh, Amsterdam Pearl paints today. I've got green, yellow, and blue. And also, I have uh, Liquitex Basics Iridescent Graphite. This is going to be my base color. And then I'm going to be swiping with golden um, carbon black. Now I'm going to show you how I mix that color, that swipe color. So I'm using the Australian Floetrol today. So that's a little bit newer. I had been using um, the regular American Floetrol. So I wanted to show you how I mix with the Australian Floetrol. All right, so let me um, get my gloves on. We'll go ahead and get started. All right, so I've got my cup and I've got my um, measuring spoons. So what I'm gonna start with first, and this is how I like to measure or mix and measure all of my paints. Um, I always put in a little bit of pouring medium first. So I'm gonna start with one tablespoon of the Australian Floetrol. Now Australian Floetrol is thinner, definitely thinner than American Floetrol. You will be able to tell as soon as you get some, <laughs> you'll be able to tell the difference for sure. All right, I'll just leave that in there. And then I'm going to get my carbon black. And this is a half a teaspoon. So I'm going to put two of those in there. There's one, and it doesn't need to be exact, but as close as you can get, okay? Okay, there we go. Put the lid back on here real quick. There we go. And I always make sure give it some good stirs. Now, if you put, the reason I only put a little bit of pouring medium in first is because sometimes when you're mixing the paint and you can see it here, I'm, hopefully, um, it's chunky. It always, not always, but most, especially tube paints like that, they tend to get a little chunky. So I always add just a little pouring medium first, that way, it's not so much to mix in and you get that, um, it smooths out faster, if that makes sense to you guys. <laughs> All right, so once I notice that it's not chunky, which this seems to be taking a minute here, but keep going. So once it's not so chunky, okay, so once you notice that you've got all the chunks, then go ahead and add the rest of your pouring medium. So. I will add two more tablespoons. One, two. All right, now you can continue and mix that up the rest of the way. Make sure when you are doing that, before you add the rest of your pouring medium to, you know, make sure the sides are scraped, make sure you scrape your stick before, because sometimes there's paint, you know, left on and when you scrape it, sorry about that guys, I was out of the camera a bit. 
Um, and when you when you scrape it, there can be some on the stick, and then you'll get a chunk in there, and you may not notice it right away. All right, so let me recap. <laughs> Three tablespoons of Australian Floetrol. One teaspoon golden carbon black. No water, nothing else, just that. Now you can see the consistency is perfect to use for a bloom or to use as a swipe cell activator, all right? So easy peasy. And you can also use this, I use it the same recipe with my Amsterdam, um, I don't have it here, with my Amsterdam paints. Um, so same recipe. All right, so I'm going to get set back up with my canvas and then we can get started. All right, so I've got my canvas back on my canvas levelers. I'm good to go and I'm going to go ahead and cover it now using the um, graphite. And this is mixed with my regular pouring medium, which is Liquitex pouring medium, Floetrol in water, and it's mixed 50% um, Liquitex and 40% Floetrol and 10% water. Okay, so I'm going to start with the, well, first let me show you something real quick. I did a test piece. I wanted to show you how this turned out using these uh, same colors. Super, super pretty. This is just a, a tile. I love to practice on tiles. Uh, it's a great way to, um, you know, just test out, experiment on. Um, so I go through a lot of tiles. And they're easy to, like, if it's if it doesn't turn out, like this one looks cool. Um, my husband loved it. Um, so I may just resin it and then use it as just a cute little art piece or a double coaster because uh, you can fit two cups on here. But if they don't turn out, you can soak them in water and it peels, the paint peels right off. So you can reuse them. Super cool. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna start with the blue first and just go right down the middle. And all of the Amsterdam pearl paints are mixed with um, American Floetrol and water. That's it. Uh, let me see, I'm gonna go green next. Um, so I mix these the same way as I mix my cell activator. I just use American Floetrol and then a little bit of water to thin. Because again, if you haven't used both of the Floetrols, you'll, you know, if you only have used American Floetrol, as soon as you get Australian, you'll be able to tell it's definitely, uh, definitely thinner. <laughs> don't need to add, don't need to um, add any water with that. All right, so let me move these out of the way real quick, and then I'm going to get my swiping stuff ready. This um, is my cap. I'm gonna dip my swipe tool in, so I'm gonna dump some of the uh, cell activator swipe color, whatever you wanna call it, into my cap. You get a little bit more of control where you're putting the um, your swipe color, so I like I like doing that. Now I need a for this one. I usually use a bigger size cap because I'm using the um, the three inch one. So we're just gonna go ahead and get started here. And when you get to the end. Give it a little lift and just gently pull it over and it will cover the sides. And you can see how those cells are developing really, really pretty.
video a little bit different um, due to the results, the dried results. So let me go ahead and show you and then we will talk about it, all right? So this is what happened. <laughs> you can see that there are a bunch of cracks. So I, I do have some positives that I like about the painting. The colors are amazing. You can see how the pearl colors changed and those colors actually came out. So you can see the yellow, you can see the blue and the green. It looks really, really pretty. Uh, um, other than that, um, <laughs> the cracking, um, I, I, you know, I don't like in this one. Sometimes it can help enhance the painting and this one I don't really like it. So I'm gonna go over um, possib possibilities of why it cracked. There are several. Now for me, I'm, I, I think I've narrowed it down to two reasons for me why mine cracked. Um, I think one of them is the humidity. I'm in Florida and this week the humidity has just gone crazy. So we turn the air up in the house and that plays a big part in uh, the painting drying too fast. I do have a register right on the wall there, the ceiling, and it may have blown down on the painting and dried it too fast. Another thing that I think happened is the, my base paint was old. Um, and I may not have had any of my golden GAC 800, which in the summertime, I change my pouring medium and I add the golden GAC 800. So for those of you that live in states that's a little, or regions, wherever you are around the world, that is humid, the golden GAC 800 really does help. So th those are the reasons that I think mine cracked. There are a, a couple other uh, reasons that it may have cracked as well. If your paint is too thick on the canvas, then it will, um, it, it may crack as well. So you wanna make sure that your consistency is not um, too thick. So those are the reasons, some of the reasons that uh, your painting may crack. If you guys have ever had your paintings crack, let me know in the description what um, you guys did or what happened to have your painting crack. I'd love to hear your guys' experiences with that because it happens to all of us. Um, I seem to, again, have, have paintings crack more uh, when I'm switching from one season to the next. That's usually my issue. So I have to remember that I have to make those adjustments. And if you're new, you'll learn um, the more that you do it, you'll learn uh, what works best for you. All right, guys, so I hope that you got something out of my video today. I hope you learned a little bit. I know I did with this video, even though um, I've been doing it for over three and a half years, we still all can you know, have the same problems and help each other out. So if you did learn anything, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, I also would appreciate if you could share it. It really does help my channel. I appreciate that so, so much more than you guys know. And um, don't forget to check out my links in my description. My acrylic pouring tools are available in my Etsy shop. shop. <laughs> Sorry about that. So you can check those out there. And I hope you guys have a fabulous day and I will catch you in my next video.